freedom. Isn't that what we all want? Freedom to become the people that we're meant to be. Isn't that what you want? I want to be free. I want to be out of my environment. I want to get rid of my past. I want to stop thinking about the way it was a year ago or 20 years ago. I want to be free. I want to be free from the job that's not giving me a chance. I want to be free from the relationships that are hurting me. I want to be free from my temptations. I want to be free from my insecurities. Every time I walk into a room, my mind is constraining me. I'm a slave to society. I'm a slave to my image. I'm a slave to what you think of me. I'm a slave to everything they've always said. I want to just be free. Do you ever want to be free? To change the world. To be the best you can be. To be the best spouse, child, parent, Jew, human. Did you ever feel like you want freedom? How do we become free? So I want to tell you a story. It's an old story, but it has new meaning every single year. It's the story of a small nation of slaves in the greatest superpower of all time, Egypt. And this nation was enslaved for so many years, and one day, a mysterious man from the desert named Moses showed up carrying a message from the creator of humanity. One word. Freedom. And ten plagues later, he stood at the banks of Egypt and turned around to a nation and said, follow me to the promised land. Follow me to purpose and meaning. Follow me to freedom. How many people followed him? A hundred percent of the people? No. Half the people? No. A quarter of the people? What he had was a small percentage, 20% left. 20% of the people followed Moses out. 20% of the people took the message of freedom. How? Because what is freedom? You see, we mistake freedom. We think that freedom is a right. We think that it's a privilege. We think that it's a gift. We're sitting around and waiting for those thoughts to go away. We're sitting around and waiting for my temptations to disappear. We're sitting around and waiting for the moment we can sleep less and work harder and crawl and climb to the finish line. We're sitting around and waiting for our boss to realize who he has. We're waiting for our kids and our spouses and the community to realize the things that we're waiting for and to give it to us freedom the way we see it. Is when the world gives us what we believe is ours. It's a gift. It's coming to me. No, that's not freedom. Because freedom isn't a right. It's a responsibility. It's not a privilege. It's a purpose. It's not a gift. It's a choice. You don't get freedom. You earn it. You want to be great? Go out and get it. Prove it. Freedom, greatness, are things that we do, are choices we make, are steps that we take. Because in between Egypt and our promised land is a desert. God put the desert in front of the Jews to teach them the lesson that there's nothing that I can give you that's going to make you free. There's nothing that I can grant you or bestow upon you that's going to make you you. The only way you become you is when you rise, when you grow, when you change. The desert is what makes us free. Our ability to push, our ability to climb, our ability to go through pain, that's what the freedom is. The desert is what makes us free because it makes us great. Greatness is whether you're willing to come out of your Egypt and to go through your desert. No one can give that to you. But once you choose it, you taste it. God told the Jewish people, I can't make you free. You have to make yourselves free. I will open the door, but you walk through. And for most of them, they said, no, thank you. Too hard. And for most of us, it's been the same answer 2,000 years later. Passover is where God gives us the clue for how to be free. Freedom is your 
choice. Freedom is your responsibility. No one else. Choose it.